it was a much loved script it, like from from when it was first came out and 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 people read it in 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 Hollywood uh it had a lot of fans um and it did have a lot of humor we we worked you know quite a hard on reworking the beginning and the end it was a tough you know doing a movie with a narrator you think is a kind of blessing because it gives you some flexibility and I would be able to nudge this and the other is actually you know it's it's quite a cross to bear because it means that you can rewrite it and then you can keep on rewriting it and then you can rewrite it some more and that was th certainly the passage of pr post production the contradiction of the script and the movie is a, in a funny way the premise and I think especially for an American audience is quite troublesome or dark people call it but the movie was never meant to be dark it's you know, it's not brooding and it's not it's not introspective and it's not edgy. You know, in many ways, it was a sort of had a schematic feel to me. It's an element of fairy tale about it. You know, it's not. You know, Oliver Platt's character Terry, when he finds out about his daughter and his best friend, you know, he goes to play ultimate frisbee. It's not a conventional, you know, sort of social realist piece. And whether or not one could, you know, I've you know you want you wanted it the character experiences to be sincere um, and you wanted the emotional truth to you know not just be a, a, a sort of a, a pastiche or a cartoon and yet you know from the beginning you know when Steve and I first talked about it, we talked about how the movie should look and all of that I was like it has to be funny uh, you know I think it wouldn't stand alone as a, as a character study we had to make it funny and, and with luck it would be touching as well because the themes of it for me were what attracted me I thought it was a film about forgiveness and about not judging people and and about understanding the frailty of human behavior and the fact we can all make mistakes and somehow through the kind of trickiness of life and the chaotic elements of life we can come through stronger that was you know that was w the meaning of the movie for me I, I mean I have a theory of film that is, is kind of strange which is I think that it, it, it has a physicality that like a brush stroke on a canvas or like a the bronze of a sculpture or something that it it implies an object in a medium, and so you can almost feel like you touch it. There's a, there's a physicality from the grain and, uh, and the shake and all those things that people say they don't like. And the problem for me with digital is it's like the only medium that tries to pretend it doesn't even exist, and you're just left with the image of the face as opposed to the face as rendered in paint, as rendered in bronze, as rendered in grain. And so it's like for a while it looked like it, it was always too sharp or too soft and it's a lot of weight for the image to have and, the, and I, I love texture, I'm kind of, obs I love texture in all things. Um, but uh, in the last year or two things have really changed in terms of what you can get with a digital camera. So I think most cinematographers would say that up until the advent of the cameras that everybody's shooting with now and I may be shooting with like in, in, a, in a month, you know, there was a real resistance among cinematographers to most of what digital was presenting. But I think now it's it's kind of now it becomes more a question of taste. That there is there's great qualities and advantages in some ways to digital and some to film. And it's it's a question of taste. And I just did a film this year, earlier this year, in film, and it was done for a micro budget. All all the things people say you can't do, you know, shoot film on a low budget. We did it and it was great. And uh, so hopefully it would be, it can go back to being a creative choice and it won't, you know, kind of disappear prematurely. It was meant to be just the values surrounding suburbia, uh, you know, are not urban. And, it, you know, and by that I meant it wasn't, you know, dark and edgy. It had a, we were always t talking about it as having a, trying to have a, a kind of purity of spirit, and we shot it in a very straightforward way for the, to make the comedy play and the, and to feel the characters, and to and to make it a kind of you know rich enough, warm enough, not threatening kind of thing. But all those judgments right from the beginning when we were looking at the locations, wanted the houses to be nice, but didn't want it to be too nice. Didn't want it to be a film about rich people, you know, didn't, nothing to alien. It was just you know it could be anywhere thing. I thought the relationships in the story you know, felt, you know, and I'm an outsider, obviously, it felt to me the universal. We all had friends that we grew up with because our parents were best friends, and at some point you you make your divide with that. You know, we all recognize slightly smothering mothers and fathers who are best friends, you know, and who kind of like the potting shed and hanging out like men do and those kind of things. It was, we were just trying, you know, to kind of keep the universal in mind.